So a voluntary standard would mean that the manufacturers, which is what they want, <coughs> as indicated by your letter to the EPA, they want a voluntary standard, which means that the manufacturers wouldn't do it because it's voluntary. You're not requiring them to. So how many more deaths from generators in the aftermath of uh, hurricanes are we going to have to see before the Consumer Product Safety Commission looking out for consumers' safety finally gets around to saying enough? Senator, uh, with, with all due respect, our agency could not be more engaged on this issue, and our staff has been out there. As I mentioned, commissioners are out there. This is an issue that's front first and foremost for the agency. We understand the hazard, but the, we, we believe, and it's not me again, it's the staff, that it, the shutoff technology can be potentially more effective and so it is certainly the most expedient way to proceed with this hazard in order to address it as quickly as we can rather than the mandatory standard. Ms. Burkle, are you hiring a general counsel that is the vice president of the Portable Generator Manufacturers Association, one of the main opponents <laughs> of the rule that was promulgated? Is that going to be your general counsel? At this time, she is a candidate for the Office of General Counsel. She has not been approved by the commission. What is your intent? Well, it, quite frankly, it's up to my colleagues to make that choice. The commissioners vote on any candidate that I might have for the gen general counsel position. Will you, or, will you argue for her hiring? I am the one that, that suggested her name. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 